The AJC Peachtree Road Race is exactly a week away. Anderson Harp has run the AJC Peachtree Road Race more than a half dozen times. Last year, he ran even after injuring both ankles. This year, he is back for more. Paula Soro sat down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with the runner turned author. Take a walk with Anderson Harp <laughs> <laughs> and you'll learn the true meaning of not giving up. What made you say, I'm going to run that race again? Just, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to uh, let it uh, stop me. Those were the thoughts he had in 2018. August 4th, 2018. I would not forget that date. On that day, he broke both of his ankles in a parachuting accident. I did a tandem jump and the instructor was on my back and he came over my back and broke both of my ankles. He hoped they were sprained and drove himself four hours to the nearest hospital. The news, not what he wished for, but he got back on his feet. A year and a half in recovery, of which two months were in a wheelchair. That was the, the first Petrie Road race I was able to come back to after, after that. He ran the race last year in just under one hour, and this year is back for more. The military veteran was also the lead runner for American University, leading his team to a top 20 finish in the 1971 NCAA Division I Cross Country Championship. He's still the school record holder in the indoor 800 meters. Running for me, it's, it's in my DNA, both the thrill and endorphins, and, you know, and the whole 10 yards. Writing is also in his DNA. He's written six novels and was invited to do two USO tours. Did you draw any? of your personal experiences into these novels? Uh, yeah, I think so. The character is a marathoner. He had run marathons, and that really actually saved his life a couple times just because of the, the endurance that he learned and the, the uh, ability to endure pain and, and keep on going. So next time you hit a roadblock, try walking in his shoes. Paolo Cerro, 11 Alive News.